Hey guys, what's up? Captain Turbo here, and welcome to Let's Play Bugs Bunny's Birthday Bash. Um, a bit of a weird title here. Uh, we recently did a... and I'll just let this play out. Uh, we recently did a um, race of this two days ago, actually, and... Uh, not spoil how the race went, but the, the game was fairly easy. It's also pretty short, so... You know, I figured why not? I know the game well enough now that I can probably help it. And, you know, why not? I, the story is very simple. Bugs here gets an invitation to a, a birthday party for him for his 50th birthday. This was a 50th Bugs Bunny um, anniversary video game. Uh, and some of the other Looney Tune characters are pretty, well, jealous. Which, you know, understandable. Bugs Bunny did get a lot of love. The others, not so much. Uh, but yeah, this game... Actually, I was pretty surprised when I was trying to, you know, learn something about the game without having to play it for myself. I couldn't find very many, um, Let's Plays. There were a couple, but not that many. And we're gonna get started with Stage 1, Round 1. Uh, each stage has four rounds. Uh, it has a boss at the end of every level. And here we go. Uh, Bugs can swing his hammer like this, he can also jump pretty high. Uh, the hammer has a bit of a delay on it, it's not great. Uh, these blocks here will go from carrots to Warner Brothers signs. When they, on, when they become Warner Brothers signs, you can stand on top of them like this. You cannot stand on top of them uh, when they're carrots, as I'll show right now. Obviously, you'll just go straight through it. Uh, you have a heart meter up there, you can get hit quite a few times actually. Because uh, enemies won't always just uh, take an entire unit of uh, health from you. Some will do like a quarter damage, some will do a half, and things like that. Uh, the carrots uh, do actually do something. Uh, the more you collect, the more ch uh, the chances... I'll start that again. Uh, <laughs> uh, if you collect 10 carrots, you'll go to a bonus stage. After the fourth stage, you'll get a different kind of bonus stage. Uh, but you need 20 carrots in order to uh, do the actual bonus uh, stage. The bonus stages are how you get extra lives in this game. Uh, as you can see right now, I've got 13. That means I'll be at least able to show you the... Um, I've got a chance at least getting... Well, I'll go into that more actually when I actually get to the bonus stages. Uh, these enemies, they're all really freaking weird. You've got like... Um, I think they're supposed to be like soda cans or something. I don't know what that monstrosity up there is supposed to be. I seems uh, less frightening Pokemon. Uh, looks like a hammer with arms and legs. Uh, uh, most of the enemies will go down with a single whack of your hammer, but uh, not all of them will. Uh, Daffy here, you don't have to fight. You've just basically got to get to the carrot. Get one more of those. I've got 20 now. And there we go. First level done. I could speed through this. I did it in about 45 minutes on the race, but I'm taking my time here and letting you guys actually see it. And this is uh, the first, uh, this is the bonus game, at least for stages 1, 2, and 3. Uh, it's kind of like a bingo lottery type game. Uh, the ball here will, uh, just press A whenever you're ready, and this will basically do this. I did not get any um, extra lives there. You basically gotta get f at least three in a row to get an extra life. You can get four in a row, five in a row, and stuff like that. Uh, I just usually mash it, but obviously, I'm explaining the round here. I didn't get any single, I didn't get a single extra life, but it's not too bad. I can get plenty of extra lives in the um, fourth round, so I'm not too fussed. Uh, first time I'm actually hearing the soundtrack, though. Obviously, if you know me, I don't uh, listen to the soundtrack of games very often, unless I'm actually L uh, unless I'm actually LP in the game. Jump on that. Jump on this one and go down. Uh, the only thing I knew about this game was probably the same as everyone else. I watched the AVGN's review many years ago. Uh, that was my one and only uh, time I actually saw the game. Uh, Dying chose the game. Good on Dying chose the game for the race. Uh, it, the game's actually pretty fun. You know, it, it's not terrible. Uh, careful of the clocks, they will explode. Just FYI, in case I forgot. Uh, the game's actually pretty easy, it's fairly fun. Like I said, the only problem I really have is the hammer is a pain in the ass to use sometimes. Uh, going up the ladder here, a bit of a chore actually, it takes a while. Careful here. And go down the rabbit hole. And we get a boss fight, we get Tweety Bird. 
uh, basically gotta hit, hit him with his hammer. He does about a half a heart of damage. So he can do pretty much... Well, it actually might be less, it might be a quarter. Uh, but three hits and he's down. It's actually... That's another problem I have with the game is the hit detection. You know, you gotta be really careful not to touch the enemies. I right, got one chance here, let's see if we can do something. No we can't. Damn. Alright, round three. The game is not excessively long, it's tw it's uh, six stages, and each stage has uh, four rounds, and they get, I wouldn't say hard, they get harder, but I would not say the game ever really gets all that difficult, to be honest. Gotta go up here. Uh, these um, snake thingies, when they're green, uh, you can touch them when they're anything but green. Uh, when, it, when they're anything but red, you can touch them. When they're red, though, uh, you're gonna get. Uh, I think I got invincibility or something there. I'm not entirely sh certain what that was. But the music's different. I guess that must mean something. Careful there. If I touch that, it'll hurt. I won't hurt me now. So I'm not really. Uh, speeding through the game. I don't really have to. The game's fairly easy. Uh, heart pick up here if you need to replenish your health. Careful that will disappear. Well, it'll drop down, I should say. But the, yeah, uh, as long as you don't touch those things when they're red, you'll be fine. Got another Daffy run here. Very easy. Just ride this up, and there we go. The boss fights in this game, if you want to call them that, are ridiculously easy. The final one can be a bit annoying, but that's only because he has a major damage output. And there you go, we got a 1-up. And we have got another chance. And on there. Uh, usually, I I just spam the button, but never mind. And I actually also... Um, the best I've ever had in terms of live counter was something like 52 at one point, so... Go down this one. A crap ton of carrots to pick up here, and like I said, you need at least um, 20 to do the uh, bonus challenge in uh, stage 4. And then I got hit by that, but never mind. Not a big deal. Ah, oh, damn, I keep getting hit by them. Ah, oh, crap. Keep getting hit. I'll be fine, and I have the 20 I need now, so I can do it the bonus game at least once, thankfully. Uh, those orange things will actually always drop, always, always drop health as long as you hit them. So make sure you hit me. And another boss fight here, Wily Coyote. Two hits. And three hits, there we go, dead. Didn't take a hit myself, actually, that's pretty good. And the hot air, air balloon will take us away. And we can do the Whack-A-Mole bonus game. I usually just spam the crap out of uh, the button here. This is actually the best place to farm lives, in my honest opinion. So you can see my live counter going up really freaking fast. I think it has something like 15 seconds, I'm not sure. Ah, I did really well there actually. I got, um, I think I managed to get 12 lives, I think. But yeah, if you want to farm for lives, just do it in the fourth one. Don't bother with trying it in the other three. Uh, outrun this. Hopefully that'll disappear now. Ah, got hit by that, but no mind. As you can see, these ones are blue, not green. Uh, same as I said earlier, as long as they're not red, you're fine. When you're in the sand, just quickly keep pressing the jump button and you'll get out. And unfortunately, I took a hit there, but never mind. Uh, the bullets will actually take quite a lot, uh, do a lot of damage, so be really careful with those. I'm actually in danger of dying, believe it or not. That's surprising. Is that, uh, yeah, when you're on those, t um, those seesaws, just, those disappear as well. Uh, when you're on the seesaws, just hit the other side with the hammer and you'll be able to jump high. Simple as. You know what, I'd feel a lot better if I went this way. Go up here. Oh! That, I nearly death. That's surprising. I promise that won't happen too often.
I am actually somewhat decent at the game, I'm just not really rushing. Ironically, if I was trying to rush through, I'd probably be doing a better job. I know that sounds weird, but it's true. It's because I'm actually trying to take my time and not rush this entire Let's Play. <laughs> Careful here, because that's going to follow me now. There we go. Ah, I still got hit. That takes- whoa, that takes an entire, um, heart. I think they're only water sprinklers. I know they look like machine gun turrets or something like that, but they're only, um, water sprinklers, apparently. Oh, if that's- if the others tell me the truth it is, anyway. I don't know, I'm talking out my ass, okay? <laughs> Oh, I'll take the hit anyway, it doesn't matter. But yeah, I'm actually really doing really well on footage right now. I mean, uh, my Final Fantasy 4, uh, uh, 6 Let's Play uh, is still ongoing, but I have a crap ton of other stuff recorded already, so you know, if I ever run out of footage for that for whatever reason, I've got plenty to fall back on. Uh, this one's very simple just let Daffy come towards you, let him walk away, and then just wait for him to come around. There we go. Jump on that. And there we go. Level over. Suffered a death, but oh well. Alright, let's see how we do here. We got one chance. Ah, nothing. Crap. And stage 2-2. Two -two. But yeah, I don't actually think the game's that bad. I mean, I've played a lot worse, believe me. Bugs controls fairly well. His hit detection with uh, his uh, mallet, as I say, is pretty much my only real uh, issue with the game, but. Again, I don't know what that does. Drop down there. I, I guess invincibility, but I've got it before and gotten hit right after, so I don't think it's that. Refill. Don't really need it here, though. Ah, oh, damn, I got hit. Never mind. Actually, it might be like a one, uh... It, it might be like a, uh, shield or something. I don't know. If anyone knows what it actually is, let me know, but... It's not a big deal, anyway. Alright, try and jump. Hit that. Up here. As I said, these will disappear about a second after you jump on them, so make sure you're quick. What do we have now? We have Tweety Bird again. I right, got a hit. Uh, with Tweety, all you want to do is jump and try and swing your mallet. He'll throw t uh, t tomatoes at you occasionally, but he's pretty easy to avoid. As I said, you need to kind of lure Tweety out from um, the cloud or the bush or whatever the hell he's in. Fairly easy to do, actually, but just be careful. And level one up. Let's see how many lives we can actually get before the end of the game. We're not gonna game over, don't worry about that. Hit that. Oh, hold well, on. Well, that was a bit stupid of me, but never mind. I was trying to get those two carrots on top, and I don't really need them. And I got my uh, health back, so I'm happy enough for that. That will disappear, be careful there. Another heart there, just in case you need it. Uh, these things can be broken down, but it takes a while to um, go through them all, so... You know, if you want to do that, go right ahead. You will get at least four of those. <sighs> Careful there, those will disappear occasionally as well. Oh, crap, got it. Ironically, the... Enemy does more damage uh, with his uh, weapon than he does walk into, which is surprising. Go down here. Uh, this level, uh, well, this end is very easy. Just go over here, go down. No boss for this one. Occasionally you will get the odd, very rare level like this where you don't have to face any type of boss, so. Uh, let's see how we do here. Nothing. Crap. Nothing again. Alright, final stage of, uh, final round, sorry, of stage two. Ah, oh, crap. 
not in the best place there, but never mind. I probably should be picking up some more, uh... Oh, fuck, I'm really getting hit quite a lot here. Thankfully, I do think there's a couple places I can pick up health. I'm not picking up that many, um, things, unfortunately. I'm gonna show you just how long it takes to break one of these things down, actually. It actually didn't take too long at all, but... You know what, screw it, I'm, uh, this, is where, uh, this is stage 4, so I'm going to be going for the extra lives anyway, and I've got the 20 I need. You can carry on with the level, and I think I should be able to get heart. Yep, there it is. Jump on this one, and there we go. Got my health back. Don't think I can get 40 to get another go, but never mind. I'll give it a try, see if I can pick up another... Uh, even another 12 in order to have another two tries at the uh, whack-a-mole game. I don't think I'm going to get it though, because I believe this is where it leads me to the uh, end of the level. Take the hit, doesn't matter. Because there's a heart right there. Nope, didn't. And we get you 70 Sam. Quite annoying, actually. He has these bullets. My advice would be to just probably try and bum rush this guy. And I got hit straight away, but never And got him, thankfully. And before we end the part off, we're just gonna do the bonus game. So let's have a try, shall we? Let's see how many lives we can get. I got one attempt, but it should be enough. Like I said, I'm not really trying anything, I'm just smashing buttons and, you know, as I said before, it works pretty well, so... And we're at 32 lives now, I'm doing pretty well. Uh, but we're gonna end this off here, guys, I hope you enjoyed it, and I'll see you in the next part. Uh, but until then, have a good night.